and off on the tax hike. New developments tonight in the fight to save Hawaii's coffee crop from a destructive beetle. The state has just received federal funding to target the coffee berry borer. Tanya Joaquin has details. Tanya? Staff Senator Maisie Hirona requested urgent assistance in a letter to fight the coffee berry borer. The U.S. Department of Agriculture responded with $1 million to protect the country's only coffee industry. We're not the only ones craving Kona coffee. The coffee berry borer has been on a feeding frenzy. Can you see him running around? Spreading fast and furious since its arrival in Hawaii's premier coffee producing region in 2010. Hi, I'm Suzanne Schreiner and I'm a Kona coffee farmer. And like all of you, I've been living with CBB for about a year now. Kona coffee farmers released this educational video last year in hopes of controlling the infestation. But the entomologist covering the west side of Hawaii Island says 100 percent of Kona and Ka'u farms are under attack. As young cherry matures, CBB is often waiting at the end of the bean. As the bean hardens, the beetle digs in, damaging the harvest. We're seeing a weighted average of between 20 and 25 percent. It's only going to get worse if we don't start taking care of it now. The USDA has committed $1 million to fend off the threat to Hawaii's $31 million coffee industry. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has acknowledged that Hawaii, which is the only state that grows coffee, uh, is in such a unique environment and that this kind of a uh, area-wide comprehensive approach was needed. It's the first federal funding to battle the bug. The money will be used to establish a pest management program through the Pacific Basin Agricultural Research Center in Hilo. We grow some of the best coffee in the whole world. We have a tremendous reputation for Hawaii coffee and we want to make sure that our coffee industry remains strong. And there's state money dedicated to the fight to 500,000 this year to control the coffee berry borer. There's a ripple effect from this pest feasting on farms. The quality of the coffee bean has suffered, while costs for consumers have gone up. Tanya Joaquin, Hawaii News Now. All right, thank you, Tanya.